Uh, hello friends in this video I will talk about how to install and run Pythia 8 with root so to run Pythia 8 with the root you have to first install the root so for installing root uh, there are several the, the, you can just simply type on the Google root run then you will come to that link and then uh, you can follow the instruction in from my video so before going to the installation I will I want to tell that root is an uh, data analysis framework. It is used by many big experiments at the Large Hadron Collider at CERN. All the experiments use as a root, and also at the uh, experiment uh, REEK experiment at the Brookhaven National Laboratory, and many big experiments in high energy physics, experimental high energy physics, use the root framework to for the data analysis. So for the installation, you can just simply click on this link, link installing root. So for the root installation, there are several ways uh, to install it. So one way is just you download the pre-compiled binary distribution. In this case, you don't need to uh, install by going very big instructions but you can simply download the pre-compiled binaries and that will simply allows you to access the root uh, access the software and run the codes inside the software so for that you have to first install the prerequisites so these are the prerequisites and there are several supported uh, compilers and then you can just see several uh, operating systems so for my case it's uh, for example it's Ubuntu so for that you can simply uh, type this command on the terminal and then you can install this prerequisite and after this already I did it so the next step is uh, you have to download the root the root version which you want to install basically and then you can unpack them and then you can just simply source the script which basically sets the environment and for the downloading then I will type the command this wget is used for downloading so then you can simply do it uh, you can see it's downloading and then in the next what you can do you can just simply untar the by using this command and then you have to just simply source it and then it you it will allow us to access the root since it's downloaded now I can untar it so it's basically extracting the uh, files and then what you have to do simply you just have to type this source uh, there will be this root.sh inside the bin directory and then you have to just that will set the environment and the libraries and then it will allow to access your root if you do the root minus l then you are able to access it and then you can check the root so this is all uh, since I already explained how to install root now I will explain how to install Pythia 8 with root support so since I already explained how to install root and then you can also check there's a environment variable for root root s by s which basically points to the root directory so once you install it you can also check it because uh, during the installation of Pythia 8 you have to supply the uh, you have to supply the path of the root so this is described by this so you can see that uh, this particular uh, root s by s point to the directory where I install the root so this variable I will use uh, to provide uh, to Pythia 8 while installing so I will explain it so for p installing the Pythia 8 you can search on the Google Pythia 8 and then you will come to this link and then you can see the welcome to Pythia 8 there are several versions of Pythia Pythia 8.307 is the latest one and then you can also find 8.2, 8.1 and there are 6 and then inside there are maybe other version also and then for you can just uh, follow the steps to installation so to avoid the complications I created a script it's called script I named that install pythia.sh I will upload in the description I will put the link in the description 
and will upload on the my drive and then you can download and you can install it so you can inst you can install it uh, uh, you can download in the home directory and then it, it will install the pti in the home directory so first step is you have to download your the pti version whatever you want to install and then uh, what you can enter you can just simply extract because it's a tar, tar, tar file and then you can extract it and then you can go to the that directory and then you, you can configure your Pythia with the uh, root uh, you can specify the name of the soft, software uh, with which you want to configure and the directory of the root basically this is given by I already explained the root as far as point to the directory where I install the root you can alternately also give the uh, path of the root bin if you want to give uh, if you want to know the these commands, what are the commands available, you can type this in the terminal, then you will find like for example, if I do, right now I didn't uh, download it, but uh, then I will explain how, so in, I will explain it later. Then after this configuration, uh, you can just simply make so make minus j8 I have 8 cores so I use the make minus j8 if you have less core you can remove the j8 also uh, if you don't have uh, that much cores then you can just click make inst uh, you can type a command make install and then you can go to one directory before then you can remove this star file is not needed anymore and then the other things you can you need to add this uh, environment variable to the base rc which basically points to the pithia libraries uh, when you will run these uh, these these uh, particular paths has to be set to the which are the which points to the pithia uh, requirement library so then these are the export commands which basically points what is pithia 8 meaning when when we type the the pithia 8 uh, uh, and variable means then after uh, once you do this after that you can simply go to cd pithia 8 these are the this is the directory uh, which we the this is the directory for pithia and then in, inside that we have examples and then you can uh, run any example so for that you have to just simply make it and then you can just simply uh, dot slash because that this make will create an executable and then you can run that executable and this will create a histogram uh, 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 which you, this is a root file and you can see it uh, uh, by using T browser uh, you can open it what it generated okay so for running what you have to do so I already checked the uh, root path because uh, I supply it here I can again explain so I supply I configure dot slash configure with root and then I have supply the path of the root you can change it uh, to others if you want uh, any other path for the root so then next step is what you have to do you have to do the change mode because this is a script I put in the home directory it is in the home directory and then you can just change it uh, to make it executable so now you can simply type it install dot reset so these all commands will be executed one by one so first is downloading first step is downloading and then it will it will extract these all command will be executed automatically and then uh, now you can see uh, the next command executed uh, here it uh, it basically configure with root uh, basically following this command dot slash configure with root and then in the meantime it's building and make minus j8 and then it will make my install and then it will till we can bait it so now it's uh, completed now you can see that the example is running and it created the histogram so this is the histogram and then it said that the double click on the histogram to quit so this particular example is already I run it now if you I can also show like examples there are several example at level right now I run it make 91 you can run like for example make uh, and then you can do main 01 this will run that it will first create an executable that you can run it so dot slash main 01 
so it's running again PTI it and then you can see it so this main 91 why I taken the example because it creates the histogram root file so basically it's using root libraries that root and you can also see the histograms inside that I guess it should be there so you can see the multiplicity histogram so this is uh, you can this is how you can install the PTI 8 and you can run the code so this is the script you can simply run in the home directory and then you will be able to install and run the PTI 8 so I already mentioned that uh, I will explain how to use the configure options so that let's come to the uh, in the whole directory up here I have the PTI so you can search for the configure options so you can just type configure minus minus help then you will find several options here so what options I used so I use this particular options dot configure uh, dot slash configure bid and then package name is root and then you have to supply the directory name like how oh, I put the directory name dollar uh, root sys you can also specify the bin directory of the root basically binary is a directory for the root and you can also do several other options you can install with the for example with root with the weight also with powerback also with these all options you can use it uh, you have to install with uh, that options then it will work with that okay thank you